AI agents versus agentic AI. These two words sound kind of similar, right? But guess what? They are not. The difference between these two things can be simply understood by drawing a comparison between smart cars with and without self-driving features. So in this case, the car with self-driving feature is an agentic AI and that without self-driving features, but still a smart car is an AI agent. Now let's suppose you sit in your car and you want to go to a destination. Let's suppose a bakery. And now you sit in your car, you instruct the car because it is voice activated, it's a smart car. You instruct the car to start, turn left, move forward, move faster, move slowly. At every point of time, you have to instruct the car to do something. It doesn't make any decisions on its own, right? You have to instruct it at every point. So it is like a little helper. But now, think of a car with self-driving features. You don't have to instruct it at every point that turn left, turn right, move slower, move quicker. You just have to give it a goal that reach to the bakery by 4 p.m. and it will take you. Once you're prompted to reach a destination, it will take decision autonomously on its own. It will define a path on its own. It will scribble down its own map. It will run a shortest path algorithm. It will run its motion sensors. This is another big difference. AI agents act based on the commands defined by you. However, agentic AI might use its own subagents in order to act according to a roadmap based on the goals defined by you. In case of agentic AI, it's just a one-time prompting and everything is done. However, in case of AI agents, they need you as a guide to command them at every point. 